There's an ever-growing debate about whether or not pop music all sounds the same. Whether it's the sound, themes, or the sometimes formulaic nature, you can find some similarities. But I will not be discussing that controversial topic in this video. I will provide a fantastic counter to that argument though, which is the group 100 Gex. Their music is so different and fresh that their album is topping album of the year list for good reasons. They are genre bending with the catchiness of pop and choruses that will be stuck in your head repeatedly, but also boasting elements of dubstep, heavy metal, and much more. For lack of a better word, I can best describe the music as simply, uh, weird, but in a good way, you know? Before we go further, I just wanted to apologize for the lack of uploads. I actually recorded most of this video in August. Yeah, so sorry about that <laughs> for the lack. But um, make sure you put on notifications. I'm going to try to upload more consistently from now on. So yeah, let's continue. Now, let's get into the background. 100 Gex is a music group consisting of Dylan Brady and Laura Less, aka Osno One. Dylan is a Missouri native, Silver Lake, LA resident, and signee on Diplo's Mad Decent record label. He was inspired by Kanye's magnum opus, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fancy, one of the best albums of the decade. And through this, he realized his passion for music and has since come out with numerous projects including Peace and Love and his collab album with Josh Pan, This Car Needs Some Wheels. The other half of 100 Gex is Laura Less, a Chicago dweller, producer, and songwriter who also goes under Osno One. The two friends joined together and created the music group 100 Gex, but since they are located across the country from each other, they created most of their music together online, sending emails back and forth. Enough with the background. Let's get into the music. Like I said earlier, the music is weird, crazy, and just pure energetic fun. June 2016, they released their self-titled EP 100 Gex, which is a great introduction to their signature sound that they were experimenting with. With poppy keys, genre changes, pitched up vocals, and chaotic random mumbo jumbo, this is quite an adventure to listen to. One of my favorites on this record is the second song, Gum. It starts off with a catchy, poppy synth melody, and at the end, for some reason, they play that melody, but with a dog barking sample. And I love it. Throughout the whole record, they were randomly put in some dog barking samples, and for reasons unknown, they're usually my favorite parts. When I think about this album, it's the dog barking album, but in a good way, you know? And here's the catchy dog barking I love. Other great songs in the short 13 minute EP are Bloodstains and the really catchy 25 Bands and a Gecko. A few years later, on May 31st, their album 1000 Gex was released. Their first EP, 100 Gex, was them finding their sound and experimenting while the new 1000 Gex feels more polished and solid. A great stepping stone in their discography that's 10 times better. <laughs> Sorry. I would say the most popular song in this album is Money Machine, and the top comment on this music video is the best way to describe that song and just the whole album in general. It's a song and album you can't listen to around other people. Believe me, I played the song with my friends and trust me, they're never giving me the aux again. Anyways, Money Machine starts off with that unique little, I don't know what to call, piss baby part. <laughs> Hey, you little piss baby, you think you're so fucking cool, huh? You think you're so fucking tough? You talk a lot of big game for someone with such a small truck. It then goes into a really catchy chorus with a booming bass underneath their pitched up vocals describing big trucks. Then at the end, it randomly switches into an electronic chaos. <laughs> first listen to this album is quite an adventure with its frequent genre changes. One second is a high pitch, catchy pop song, and then it switches to dubstep, heavy metal, or even screamo. A lot of their songs seem to follow the format of Money Machine, where it starts normal, and slowly it turns into a nightmare. The best thing I can compare it to is an Ari Aster movie, where it starts off calm and normal, and slowly it turns into a chaotic nightmare at the end. 800 Decibel Cloud is another example of this, where at the end it randomly turns to screamo. <laughs> Another highlight is the eccentrically named Stupid Horse, which is a ska song about losing money while betting on horses, but it's also about wasting money on a Porsche. Warning, the song is really catchy, 
and um, it's gonna be stuck in your head all day. Sorry. <laughs> Stupid horse, I just fell out of the porch. Lost the money in my bank account. Oh no. Anytime someone even mentions a horse in some way, I always at least mumble. Stupid horse, I just fell out of the porch, and I embarrass myself every time. Later on, there is Ringtone, which is a fun bubblegum pop song about a lover having their own ringtone and talking about love with the inclusion of modern day technological metaphors. My boy's got his own ringtone. It's the only one I know. It's the only one I know. Other highlights include, uh, I, I'm not even going to try saying that. Hand Crushed by a Mallet, Get to You, and basically the whole album. So go listen to this great record and open your ears and mind to accept those weird sounds and enjoy them. While the album is only 23 minutes long, it'll be stuck in your head forever. And yeah, I'm not kidding. Somehow it's my fifth most played album of 2019 and it might just become yours. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts about 100 Gex in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and let me know what you want me to make next. Thanks.